Hello all, welcome back to another episode of Rapper Reacts. I'm Rapper, my name is Rob Robbie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, before I begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Today, we are going to be visiting a song called Seasons of Love from Rent. I know it's quite not, I know it's not quite spring yet, but I feel like the seasons are changing, it's getting warmer, so we're gonna revisit the musical that uh, was groundbreaking and still continues to break ground and barriers. So, uh, a little bit about it, what I know. Um, obviously, you guys can tune into Netflix. They have a show about the creator of this musical called Tick, Tick, Boom. They have a, a movie about him. But um, this was a musical I have revisited a few times when I was younger. So this musical came out, I want to say, ooh, maybe a little before 2010. Maybe my timing is off a little bit, but I think it came out a little before 2010, the movie, not the musical. Um, and the movie has pretty much the same cast as uh, the uh, stage production, except for, uh, I believe, Rosario Dawson and the guy uh, from The Flash. I can't think of his name right now, but I believe those are the only two. Uh, but uh, Adina Menzel and um, Tay Diggs and all those they're from the original production, if I remember correctly. Uh, standout song for me. So we're going to do Seasons of Love. One of the songs that stood out to me, because I remember this song. I haven't heard it in a long time. But I remember this song being continued throughout the movie. And uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie. But at the uh, funeral scene, when they weave this into the funeral song, uh, I thought that was the most powerful use of this song. But it is a great song, and uh, I'm happy to listen to it again. So without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to listen to Seasons of Love. Just hoping that, um, just like right off the bat, I see that this is not a, um, whenever it's a, a version that's uploaded, you know, because of copyright reasons, People sometimes speed it up, slow it down, or like distort the quality. And I don't like that. So I'm going to give this a quick listen. And if it is like kind of like a distorted version, I'm just going to find the album version and play that. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Yeah, I can tell you right now, I'm not listening to this version. It's got that. It's got 10 million views. People are listening to it, but I can't do it. I'm sorry. Um, you know what I'll do when I when I um, edit this video? I'll put the video so you can see it, but I'm actually going to go to the uh, album version. I don't want to hear that hiss. I, I'm really big on stat sound quality. All right. So, all right. Yeah, it sounds so much better. Okay, I'm going to play this one. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Without further ado again, let's do this. Great, great start off. Um, the people in this musical have really powerful voices. Uh, Adina Menzel, especially, um, her voice is standing out. Uh, and um, mm, can't think of her name, but the uh, the uh, uh, Marine is that her name in it? The, the, the woman who I think it's Marine, right? I'm getting them wrong, but she also has a very, very powerful voice. 
Oh, Marine is a demoiselle. Okay, all right. Let me get these names right of the characters. <laughs> I want to look it up real quick. All right. Uh, characters and rent. Uh, yeah, Marine is Adina Menzel. So, Joanne. Joanne has a powerful voice as well. Okay. Now, I didn't want to come off of here and then the comments be like, you got the wrong person. Marine is Adina Menzel. Because <laughs> I, I like mess up on here. Because when you're recording, it's like you're just talking. And um, there's my cat in the background. And sometimes things come out and you don't mean to say them that way, but you know, you gotta roll with the punches and then go with the flow. But uh, already you can hear Adina Menzel's voice, very pronounced, and um, she sounds great. You can also hear Joanne, um, and you can hear uh, my guy from uh, Flash. You can hear his voice lower on the bottom. And they all sound really good together, almost like a choir. Um, I'm calling him the guy. Uh, his name is Tom, right? I'm like, Tom? You can hear Tom's voice on the bottom. It sounds like really creamy and smooth. So I'm loving it so far. Let's keep going. Um, I'm going to rewind it a little bit because we're getting into the build where they start layering on top. So let's do, we'll go back like 49, 49 seconds in. All right, let's do it. Inches in miles and laughter and strife in Noticing, I don't think everybody's singing at the same time together at all times because you can kind of hear um, at one point you could hear Mark's voice kind of coming in more or everyone falls back a little bit because even though they're singing together, you can start hearing other people's voices pop out a little bit more. Whereas before it kind of blended more like I think I think when it started, you you heard more of Marine's voice. And then it's slowly, gradually going to Joanne's voice. Uh, uh, the guys sound fantastic on the lower end as well. Uh, but everything that I'm hearing so far, I love this song. Um, I love the version they did on The Office. Uh, that made me uh, choke up a little bit. Anyways, and I heard it was a surprise. And that was actually Steve Carell crying. That's a, another issue, though. But uh, I mean, that's another topic in itself. But let's keep going. I'll go back a little bit. Uh, let's do, uh, we'll go to the 220 mark. Let's do it. <laughs> Gorgeous voice. Love. 
yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely adore this song. Um, Joanne killed this song. Um, uh, we'll play Joanne. Um, Joanne is played by Tracy Thomas. Yeah, Tracy Thomas. Uh, Tracy killed this role. Uh, she killed that song. And, um, you know, it's kind of sad. I haven't seen her in a lot of stuff. I saw her on Catfish because she had like a really deranged fan. Um, and that was kind of creepy. But outside of that, I think I've seen her in um, Devil Wears Prada. I've seen her in a few things here and there, but she's incredibly talented. I would love to see her in more things. Um, she sounds absolutely fantastic in this. And I remember her character being one of those characters that you could really relate to in the movie. Um, yeah, she's definitely, in this arrangement, the standout voice. And I like how they slowly built their way to her. And they gave everyone a chance to shine as they're kind of stepping over each other. But not like in a negative way, but they're kind of like, do, 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 do. And then uh, goes to her part. I loved it. Um, love the musical rant. I'm definitely going to revisit uh, a few songs on this musical and uh, go over it with you guys and kind of just like react to it and then get your feelings and comments below because it's always fun to uh, find people that you can enjoy music with, especially musicals. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you know what, check out the song, give the album another listen. Uh, this is a song I believe that you all will really enjoy. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, uh, and uh, tune in next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.